Okay, in this example, we have the indefinite integral of x divided by the cube root of 5x squared. So let's go ahead and try to work through this solution. So in this particular case, um, we have an inside function. And remember, if you can identify an inside function, um, u substitution is something that's worth trying. In particular, if something that resembles your du is going to appear on the outside. So let's try it and let's see if it works. So we're gonna set u equal to 5x squared. And then now let's compute du. So du is the derivative of u. Here we use the power rule. So two times five is 10 x and you subtract one from the exponent. And then we have our dx. So this is not quite what we have in our integrand. If you look at our integrand, we actually have x dx, but down here we have 10 x dx. So we have an extra 10 here, so we have to get rid of it. So to do that, we can divide both sides by 10. Remember the goal is to make this look like what's in the integrand, okay? So divide by 10, boom, that gives us the du over 10 can be written as 1 tenths du. And then here we're left with x dx, just like that. And so now we have exactly what's in the integrand, right? We have this x dx, x dx, x dx. So let's go ahead and make that substitution. So the x dx is going to become 1 tenths du. I'm going to pull out the 1 over 10. So 1 over 10. Then we have the integral symbol, and then we have just the du, right? So du, I'll put it up top. And on the bottom, we have the cube root of 5x squared. But 5x squared, that entire thing is u. This is the cube root of u. <laughs> so now we have a much more manageable integral, right? This is a much, much easier to work with. So this is 1 tenth. Okay, and so now we can rewrite this. Uh, we wanna write this as u to a power so we can actually integrate it. The integral of du over, there's really a one here, and it's u to the one over three. So this is u to the one over three. Boom, really nice, really nice. And now we can bring it upstairs and make it negative. So it's one tenth u to the negative one over three du. All right, and so now we can apply the power rule. The power rule says that we take one and we add it to the exponent. That formula always works as long as that exponent is not negative one, and then you divide by the results. It's gonna come over here. This will be one tenth. So u to the, let's see, we're taking negative one third and we're adding one. So it's negative one third plus one. So it's really plus three thirds, so it's two thirds. When you're adding one to a fraction, try to think of your fraction as a number over a number where that number is the same as the denominator of your first fraction. So like if it was one fifth, you think of it as five over five. Um, here it's negative one third. Um, so we think of it as three over three. So that's gonna be u to the two thirds. And then we're dividing by two thirds. Plus our constant of integration, capital C. Dividing by two-thirds is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is three-halves times one-tenth. And then here we have the u to the two-thirds. I'll leave it like that for now. Let's see. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can multiply. Three times one is three. Two times ten is twenty. And But we're not done. we got to go back to x, right? And so what was it? Uh u is 5x squared, so this is going to be parentheses 5x squared to the 2 thirds plus our constant of integration, capital C. So works out um, quite nicely uh, in this example.